The name of the broadcast is Deceived? Question mark. Are you deceived? For my Facebook Live audience, this is spectacular. Come back later and check it out. I'll merge the P900 zoomed-in content. It looks like the sun is nestled in the clouds. How does it work? I don't know. What's the flat earth map look like? Well, it looks like a globe flattened out or something like that. I don't have to have a map and a model other than to say I'm a biblical creationist. The earth doesn't move. The sun, moon, and stars do move. So does the wind and the water and all that. Uh, they, they ignore the flood, the great flood, those arrogant, proud individuals that think themselves so enlightened, so educated, those uh, Satanists, those evolutionists, those hedonists, those creation ministries promoting the globe. Wow. Those angels of light. Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. How about that? They thought themselves wise. They were proud. They were some derivative of Satan, whether it's uh, the fallen angels, Satan, a demon. Jesus said of Judas Iscariot, it would have better, been better if that man had not been born. How about that? Well, not only have I been born, I've been born again. Best I can tell, it was 2014, Reformation Day. How about that? I believe the Bible is God's Word. It is totally reliable for eternity, for an eternal perspective. That's why I have that name. I'm looking beyond the haters and the difficulty in this life uh, because God supernaturally has indwelt me and gives me a passion, purpose, and an eternal perspective to expose the reality even though it's not popular with a whole lot of people. Oh well, I'll do it anyway because that's what I'm created to do for such a time as this. Notice the light beam continuing when it fills in the low spot on the water. That is a clue for everybody watching right now. That right there in front of you is evidence. It's like a laser beam shooting down the beach. <clears throat> and it's been supported by God. God supports that laser beam in the sky, so to speak. He causes it to move. Where the sun, moon, and stars move above the face of the earth can't be explained by the heliocentric lie. And that's what it is. It's absolutely a lie. It's not reality. I've got a jet in the view right now, leaving no contrail. Yeah, I've got an interesting observation. I was watching the Weather Channel talking about the, uh, the storm Florence yesterday, and they said the storm is too far out for us to send planes. And I said to Joni, what about all those satellites you believe are up there taking images of the storm? What about that? What about those satellites? What about it? <laughs> Satellites, as we're told, are science fiction. There are devices floating in the air, suspended by balloons. We've got pictures of them, for those of you who care to look at it or ignore it. Just ignore it. If you want to believe the lie you want to believe, that's what most people do. God's Word says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, they refused to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion. So they're going to believe the lie. It's beyond a satanic deception. God will use, Satan will use who he can and what he can. God uses it all, including Satan and the fallen angels, Satan's children, his children. He uses everything. God is sovereign. He's in charge. Nothing is going to happen in this world that he doesn't cause 
or allow. That's a bit of a problem for some people to look at. There's some injustice and wicked things going on in this world. God allows it for His purposes. He's in charge. He knows what's best. I trust Him with that. So some of what I'm going to say right now for the P900 uh, video, you've maybe heard on the Facebook Live. The Facebook Live video will be converted to a YouTube video so that I can send that out to all my YouTuber friends or haters. Love the haters. Bring it on. Thanks for the millions of views hating on me. Hating on the truth, the way, the truth, and the life. Most of the people that I've encountered that are really hateful, uh, they don't even make any pretension to be a, a Bible believer. They hate it. They hate God's Word. They talk about it like a fairy tale. Oh well. Atheism is only an illusion and it's only temporary anyway. God says they're without excuse. Right? Sound familiar? It takes less than a day to hear the entire New Testament. How about that? 77 hours to hear the entire Bible. On my YouTube playlist called Eternal Perspective right now, I may rename it. Um, it's the audio Bible merged with the beauty of creation. The beauty and majesty of creation, including the people that come out to enjoy it. That's all a part of the equation. So just so you all know, on the, um, on the various uh, formats, I've got the uh, P900 content, and I also cross-link on uh, the P900 view. I'll have my Facebook uh, video that's converted to a YouTube and the original Facebook linked. I link them all together. I cross-link them, cross-pollinate them. I've got a uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all of that. Uh, big deal, right? Well, I'll use it all. I'll use whatever I can. Okay, zooming in on the sun, going behind the clouds. Apparently, uh, the sun becomes nestled in the clouds. I'm not sure how it works. There's mystery around the sun. It's most definitely not 93 million miles away. I don't know the exact size or distance away. Uh, apparently, they say it's 93 million miles away. They, meaning the liars, the deceivers, whoever they are. And, uh, and then, supposedly, it's a million and a half times the size of the Earth. That's a lie. That's a lie. They're lying. I ain't buying. Right now, the sun looks totally like it's nestled in clouds. Similar cloud den densities all around it. And I've got many videos like it. Somewhere I'm not talking. And you can hit the mute button. If you don't want to hear what I have to say and just look at this content, go right ahead. You're not going to hurt my feelings. So for those that are hating on me, uh, if you come out of that hatred, and you want to contact me, that's totally cool. You can messenger me. You can uh, call me. My number is 1-843-504-1776. My content is all public. I'm contemplating even making some of my Facebook um, uh, commenting public for a while. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. That gets really complicated. Right now, only friends can comment. So when I, I make a uh, group, uh, not a group, but a page, Weather Wars, uh, the reason I did that is so that I could have a video that uh, people can go to. It's like a little billboard out there on the World Wide Web where people can uh, go to and, and find out that, yes, they're modifying the weather and uh, there's tectonic uh, capabilities causing um, earthquakes and tsunamis. Yeah, was Fukushima caused by an outside force other than the natural occurrence of how the world normally would work? I believe so. 
I believe there's a preponderance of ever evidence that what happened uh, with Fukushima was uh, created by man, fallen angel technology, quite possibly, as well as the events of 9-11. Too much uh, evidence that's uh, indicating it was definitely an inside job. The official story of 9-11 is a lie. Absolutely. They're lying. I ain't buying that either. That's why I've got a page, 9-11 uh, Truth. The truth of 9-11 is the official story is a lie. It doesn't mean I know exactly what happened. And just so you're aware, on some of the Weather Wars commentary, some of these videos are older, and these individuals didn't even realize that we, didn't live on, that we don't live on a globe. They're unaware of that. So just keep in mind, some of the content that I featured is not going to all be flat earth uh, perspectives from the individuals that have created this content. Just so you know. The reason why I shared the content is primarily to help people realize the, the reality that there is uh, weather modification technology there are patents on it. There is activity that shows that it's happening. The, the book of Revelation, uh, from Genesis to Revelation, 66 books. Uh, and then I've heard some people say 40 authors. Chuck Missler used to say 66, 40, 66 books, 40 authors. Chuck, I believe you got that wrong. Chuck transitioned a while ago. One author, the God who created this. The God who created this world can so powerfully superintend somebody's supernatural inspiration that it overwhelms them and they'll just write what he wants them to. I believe it. I believe it to be true. The God who created this world that spoke it into existence can do as he pleases. And he does, and I agree with him. I agree that he knows what he's doing. And I'll do my best to do what he created me to do. Why would I do anything different? Why would I dump a bucket of mud in my brain in the form of pharmaceutical or toxic chemicals to cause me to uh, be imperceptive or have a lack of discernment? The bucket of mud that was in my brain was... Uh, it was toxic chemicals by the pharmaceutical industry that were, that were a catalyst for drug addiction, legal and illegal drug addiction. I was an absolute mess. And as water reflects a man's face, God's word reflects the man. I wanted to know if I was truly born again, why was I such an absolute mess? Well, what I found out is after 35 years of trying to do it in my own strength, the Holy Spirit took up residence and gave me new life in Christ. Good morning, Leonard. That's what happened. So as best I can tell, the, uh, the numbers I came to believe um, over 35 years before I was actually uh, born of the Spirit. Best I can tell, that's how it went down. That may sound disturbing, that to some some people think oh i got it wrong i'm i'm deceived oh well people can believe whatever they want apparently that works some people choose to believe that god isn't real does that put family members in uh in limbo neither a heaven or a hell those that have transitioned no they're going to be wherever god the God who created this world, the God of the Bible, where he decided they would be. I didn't decide who my parents would be. Did you? No, I don't believe anybody can. And I, I certainly believe that God doesn't leave the decision of the most important reality to be aware of. Don't you think that... Um, your most important decision of your life should be based on reality? I believe it should.
that's why I do this. I, I believe that the Bible is ultimately truthful and reliable. Uh, were books taken out of the Bible that uh, God wanted in there? Well, he's sovereign and he's in charge. I've got the audio uh, narrated version of uh, Book of Enoch on my liked video playlist. I'm not, uh, what I'm saying is Jesus spoke highly of uh, Enoch in his word. And uh, there's mention in the book of Jude about Enoch. And you can look that up. If you want to believe that the book of Enoch shouldn't be considered, well, suit yourself. I believe it accurately des describes the, uh, the activity of the luminaries, the sun, moon, and stars, as best I can tell. If you want to really look at where the, how accurate the Tides Near Me app is that, that I use, please uh, let me know how accurate it is by you. Wolfie, if you're listening to this, uh, check out uh, Tides Near Me and, and since you take shots right by the ocean, can you verify the accuracy of where the sun and when the sun and the moon appear and vanish based on your perspective? Oh, that's right, he's ignoring me. Oh well. Maybe not. Maybe he just says that. People can ignore me, um, and they can ignore the truth temporarily. You can ignore the truth in reality temporarily when the heart stops ticking, when you can't fog a mirror. Uh, it's over as far as the decision making is, is concerned. However, you'll be uh, where you get to spend eternity this isn't a, a sales pitch. I simply do this to help people make an informed choice. The children of God will, will be absolutely drawn to the truth and the reality that we live in. The reason why the truth of the creation matters, it validates the Bible and points out the deception of the world system. That's why it matters. The truth matters. The short version is the truth matters. The shape of the earth matters because it validates scripture and exposes the lies that are being perpetrated on humanity. And they use a lot, they enslave humanity with, uh, with materialism, preoccupation of matters of little to no significance. Professional sports, overpaid individuals, um, all of us are paying for those overpaid salaries. We're all paying for the military industrial complex of the world. Not just the United States, it's worldwide that they do this. They're blowing up people all over the world and getting uh, individuals feeling real patriotic and wonderful about it. Hoorah! Oh well. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of the military-industrial complex. I'm pointing it out. How about the financial-industrial complex? It's, it's, it's the funding uh, arm of this whole wicked system. The God of this world does it. He's in charge. He's the prince of this world. However, it's under the sovereign control of the God who created this world. That's what you should be aware of. God isn't hoping, the God of the Bible, who's the Alpha and Omega, the Great I Am, the Living Water, the Living Word. The Hebrew name is Yeshua, Yahweh. You can look all this stuff up. It doesn't mean that people that have referred to him as Jesus or God or Lord aren't, aren't going to be in heaven because they they didn't know Hebrew. I've got friends that are really caught up in, in uh, legalism, I, I perceive. Not that anybody that refers to Hebrew as, uh, as a proper reference to God and the Messiah, the Christ, not to say that they're all deceived. If, if they prefer to use the accurate terminology, the, the Hebrew language, that's fine. 
However, that uh, I believe it's an important consideration to recognize that uh, many people have not even known to look into the Hebrew. They're going to live and die and never hear a Hebrew word in their life. And they, they may have been told the, the wonderful story of the Creator that took up human flesh, dwelt among us, and then uh, they've known Him as Jesus, and I'm fine with that. So I don't unfriend people or block them because we have a different view on this topic. I typically unfriend deactivated accounts, just so you know. If you're watching a live broadcast and we haven't interacted in a, in a, in a way that I said, hey, I'm going to have to let you go because you're uh, trying to take over my post for your uh, agenda, if we haven't had a conversation like that, you may have just deactivated your account for a while and uh, I wanted to make room for somebody that wanted to come on board. I remember a while back hearing, uh, if, if you think you're a leader, look and see if you've got any followers. I got a lot of followers. I am a leader and I'm grateful to be able to do that. It isn't something that I worked up on my own. What I want you to keep in mind that this that you're looking at right now, what's going on in and through me, I'm grateful for. I didn't come up with it on my own. God rescued me from a life of selfish, self-ambition, um, hedonism, pleasure-seeking, addiction, my own effort, my own self-effort. He set me free from all of that. Linda, the lighting looks great on you. Good to see you this morning, dear. You're on Facebook and you'll be on YouTube in a little bit. What a gorgeous morning, huh? It is. So do you think we're going to get much storm and hit us? We're getting some pretty clouds anyway, huh? You get some good shots of this today? Hey, send me any of them you want. You've got quite an eye for photography and you don't mind taking your camera out where the shots are. Yeah, I need, I'm gonna put the bottle in the shot too. My video. Even a friendly game of billiards wouldn't work on a spinning, wobbling, gyrating, oblate spheroid. Boy, that's a mouthful, huh? A wind chime wouldn't work. None of it would work. That's the reality of that. If Joni, my wife, follows through on leaving me, moving back by our sons, I'll have a pool table in the living room to be able to have the entire home where we currently live as a broadcast studio. That's what I'm going to set up. I can't make her stay. I'm not trying to make her leave. I just love the truth and she's deceived. And I don't believe she's born again yet. That may be very disturbing for you to hear me say that about my wife. I believe I know her better than she knows herself. And I'm trying to help her to realize the impossibility of living on a globe, that it's not possible, it's not reality, and all of that. So I care. Please pray for us if, you, if you're so inclined. I would appreciate that. So yeah, am I looking for a new wife? Well, I want it to be her. I want her to be new in Christ. She believes she's born again. I, I don't believe that's the case. So I'm going to elaborate on that a little bit and take this out to everybody. The new nature is so different than the fleshly nature. Scripture comments on it, lets us know what the new nature looks like. Radically different than the human nature, what we're all born with.
Love, joy, peace, patience, long suffering, not keeping a record of wrongs. Um, a life lived to worship, honor, and glorify God, to obey Him. To hear His word, share His word, obey His word. All of that is a big deal. If there's a preoccupation with mindless entertainment and issues of no eternal significance, I would say that's somebody that needs to reprioritize their life and ask God to help them to realize the truth of the reality of the world that we live in. Whoever this individual is, I'm not just talking about my wife, I'm talking about anybody. There's individuals running ministries that are not biblical. How are you going to know that? Well, you got to know the scripture to know it. There's a lot of false teachers out there. How will you know? Well, hear the word. I've been saying this for a long time. Hear the word. Hear, share, and obey God's word. Why wouldn't you? It's available. Mobile technology allows us to take God's word on the, on the go, wherever we go. And even if all that were to go away, I've hidden God's word in my heart that I might not sin against him. He, he is the author that lives in and through me, the creator of the world, the creator of me, and he gave me new life in him. I am so grateful. Please don't uh, mistake my uh, gratitude for pride. I love what I do because it's what he causes me to do. I get to do what I want because he put the want to do what he created me to do. It's a perfect fit. I love to do this. It's a great privilege to be able to expose the reality of the world that we live in and hand out the invitation to set people free all over the face of the earth. I'm a biblical creationist. This is Robert Forsch with the YouTube channel Eternal Perspective. Please subscribe if you like.